Hey everybody, my name is Quicken, and today we're going to be talking about fashion, and anime, and Ghibli, and luxury fashion house Lueve. So at the top of the year, Lueve launched a luxury collaboration with my neighbor Totoro, the infamous Studio Ghibli movie, where two little girls move to rural Japan and they find spirit animals in the forest that befriend them and offer them courage while their mother is sick in the hospital. That's a, that's a pretty big underselling. However, this movie is magical and very important to a lot of people. Studio Ghibli has a cult-like following similar to Disney, and I thought it would be interesting today to check out the Loewe x Studio Ghibli x Totoro collaboration. The collaboration ranges in prices from $380 to $9,000. So I thought it would be interesting today to check out what a luxury fashion house would do when they bought a Studio Ghibli license. So it might seem like I am not qualified at all to speak on behalf of Loewe, the luxury fashion house. I do dabble in fashion and fashion news in a light kind of, uh, I watch a lot of runways and I, I'm always excited about stuff like that. So I'm kind of familiar with Loewe in a sense where I am interested in spring, fall fashion releases. However, I shall have a hot topic. However, as somebody who loves a Studio Ghibli and loves anime, fashion kind of coming together, this was something that really piqued my interest. Some background on Loewe, they are a Spanish luxury house and they've been around since the 1800s. They mostly specialize in leather goods, so think bags, shoes, and they also have, I believe, perfume and some cosmetics. What I thought was interesting is their current director is J.W. Anderson, who you might recognize from working with Uniqlo. J.W. Anderson usually has one large collaboration with Uniqlo for the last few years, and the collaboration with Uniqlo I genuinely really like. It's very street meets higher end meets prep. It's really cool. I genuinely like it, but I'm not sure if I have any J.W. Anderson Uniqlo pieces. Though I do think it's nice when these bigger fashion designers do collaborate with more affordable brands like Uniqlo. However, J.W. Anderson for Loewe actually has one other anime kind of manga inspired. I noticed something in I believe fall 2016, 2017, a couple manga, maybe Gundam jackets and bags. I couldn't find a lot of information about these if they were specifically Gundam. For the most part, I see them branded as anime or manga bags. That made me a little more excited that J.W. Anderson was more or less qualified to take on this Studio Ghibli collab. So before that, I feel like Loewe was something that wasn't really on a younger millennial's radar. But with the success of their puzzle bag, which might be something that looks familiar, Loewe is coming into favor currently right now because of its attraction from It Girls. So an It Girl is somebody, I guess, who gets photographed by paparazzi, is as, they're usually like a jet setter, you see them around the world, they might be at New York Fashion Week, and you're like, who is that? That is an It Girl. Think of a Halle Bieber. You see her a lot, she gets photographed a lot, and if she's photographed in Loewe, that has really big influence for that brand. So I think the cultivation of J.W. Anderson's previous manga Gundam meets kind of the interest of the current It Girl, who I believe is millennial Gen Z aged. It felt like this collaboration was bound to happen. Although, as somebody who gets excited for these licensed goods, I felt like maybe this collaboration wasn't super inspired. So today I wanted to go through it with you guys and talk to you about the pieces I really liked, the pieces, the pieces that I feel like bombed and 
show you exactly what a $10,000 Totoro leather jacket really looks like. Here's my TV dinner tray because I can't afford to shop at Loewe. So right on the top of the website, you see a limited edition capsule collection of bags, ready to wear and accessories celebrating Studio Ghibli's 1988 masterpiece, My Neighbor Totoro. I'm really excited to see the, the It Girls or any sort of pieces from this collab come out in the mainstream. Like if you could see like an Ariana Grande who is very public about enjoying Studio Ghibli, I think maybe we could see like a, a paparazzi picture of Ariana maybe wearing something like this. So would you wear a $10,000 bag into a bamboo patch? Maybe. So we are going to search from lowest to highest just to keep things interesting. The least expensive piece from Luebe x My Neighbor Totoro are card holder wallets in calfskin. So these are all leather. I feel like this would be for the person who wants a little something, little something Totoro. Maybe they just think this is cute. It is a pretty simple. This one is a little more interesting. On the back, you get their little eyes. So the first couple shirts are, this shirt right here is, it looks like an original design. This is a $380 shirt. And on the back, you have Loewe, and you also have this little guy on the back here. I think this shirt is different, different enough to be something exclusive to the collection. However, I feel like as we continue through the collection, you're going to see a lot of imagery you are used to seeing. I think this Totoro shirt is pretty unique. The model has it styled with some flared trousers and then I'm assuming these shoes are also Loewe as they specialize in leather goods. So here it is. It is a blue Totoro um, and he is hanging from the collar of the shirt. And the back says Loewe, and I do think it is clever that they have in the little, little medium Totoro right there on the sleeve, and that is the same blue Totoro as you would see on the front of the shirt. That is interesting. A little extra something for your, your buck here. Now, I feel like some of these other Totoro designs are a little uninspired, and I say that as somebody who is completely familiar with all the like, her universe Totoro collabs for Hot Topic, things like that, where we see a lot of the same imagery over and over and over again. I think we're all pretty familiar with this image of Totoro, and although there's not much reinvention to be done. I would love, well, I don't know. Would I love for this to be super unique? Cause it's in inaccessible to me. Now to get into the more expensive pieces, this is, well, this is a long sleeve t-shirt. And again, this is what I mean. Like we've seen this image of the two Totoros before, like I said, on like a Hot Topic t-shirt. So it would be nice if it was reinvented. It does have this interesting cut shirt. The sleeve does have a lot of detail. Like without a doubt, this is a high end shirt, but I just feel like maybe some of the imagery is a bit recycled. I will say it is a nice added detail that I believe the Totoros are embroidered on here. That is, that is different. And here is the final t-shirt, $450 Dust Bunnies t-shirt in cotton. Um, I wonder what makes this shirt significantly more expensive than the other t-shirts. Crew neck t-shirt with a contrast rib collar from Loewe x My Neighbor Totoro capsule collection with Dust Bunny embroidery, relaxed fit, embroidered with Loewe anagram on the back. I see the soot sprites here it looks like they may be 3D, and then the ones down here printed 3D with some kind of thread. And at the top you have the Loewe insignia. It's hard to get a good look at these. The quality is best in this smaller size. 
So this is going into their leather goods. Now this is what Loewe is known for, their leather goods. So here is a small little little purse here, little coin purse. You can keep your contact lenses in here. A structured pouch in a mini size with a simple shoulder strap. And what is really special about this bag is the embossed interior that has the My Neighbor Totoro label inside pressed into the leather. That is really special. Um, only a few images of this you would have to go in real life, I guess, to check this out. Or maybe there's just not much more to it. Um, this is a very extremely small bag. Next, there is a Soot Sprite bag charm. So bag charms are not lost on these luxury houses. They still offer them. And this looks like, it's, it's pretty cute. It's $500, it's pretty cute. Um, they show it adorned on another bag from this collection. So to get the full experience, you can add a couple bucks and get the Soot Sprite here. Here we have a, another one of those little bags and wallets. And here is another charm. This charm is a little more, it's a little more difficult to make out. So it looks like we have a a metal totoro and then a couple of leaves and an egg corn. So something a little more subtle. It does look good paired with this one bag, but it probably doesn't scream my neighbor totoro like you want. So here is a palm leaf bag and just this has soot sprites on the eyes here. So this would probably be the bag you would adorn with a little, a little charmy. So there are a couple of Weiwei hoodies. We'll just look at this green one. And this is a drop shoulder jersey hoodie with drawstring hood and crochet tassel drawstring featuring a print from My Neighbor Totoro, regular fit embroidered with Loewe. I would say the designer aspect, what makes this special, what makes this designer is the drawstrings. Does make it difficult to see what is on the hoodie. <laughs> what is on the hoodie? Okay, so it looks like this image is also embroidered too, that's nice. Here is another one of these little calf skin bags and this one is more expensive, so it looks like this one is just a little bit larger. It also has that embossed My Neighbor Totoro image on the inside and it looks like it has little card card holders, I guess. Maybe this is held with magnet? Um, not sure. So I want to jump ahead and show you the next kind of thing and that is um, loafers that are shoes. So I actually feel like these are interesting. Okay, so these, these have a leather interior but these are polyester, these are fabric. An embroidered flat slipper in soft construction featuring embroidered dust bunnies, a fictitious sprite from the Totoro collection. I wonder by slippers if these are meant to be worn in the house or if rich people call them that. I found these to be interesting. I like the idea of them and I do like how they've paired them with these big um, pants. So here is another bag and this is called the Gate Pocket. Utilitarian pouch with a shoulder strap and features the gate side latch metallic pin. Um, okay. Looks like, um, maybe it's a cell phone bag. Looks like it could fit your iPhone. Um, you'll have to hold your inhaler. Oh, and your card. Not too much on the construction of the bag, however, these may all be staple Loewe pieces that are just done up for the Totoro collab. So, looks like some magnetic enclosure, and you'll drop a bean on that one. I did want to look at this like white button down, I just, why, why is it Totoro? Okay. Whoa. 
These almost don't look quite right. So I did want to talk, or at least comment on some of these very special pieces, the pieces that I feel like you could not get anywhere that are inspired and are elevated for this collection. I've been maybe brutal, probably not out loud, but there are a few pieces that I think are much more elevated that aren't the typical images we've seen a hundred times on previous My Neighbor Totoro licensed goods. This sweater, <laughs> this $1,800 sweater <laughs> is pretty different. I've, I've never really seen anything like this. It has just like our boy in the corner here and he's just on these trees. And you might be like, Who's, whose trees are these? What tree is this? I've never seen such a tree. But I thought that this was kind of funny, like just imagining like a Katy Perry in this walking around town. There is a hoodie with these awful drawstrings again. I know the demand to reinvent the hoodie is probably there, but I thought that this was really special. This looks like needle punching, which I think is really cool. It, this is the hoodie without those drawstrings and it's significantly improved. I like this because your boy, there he is. It's, he's pretty funny. I feel like this is taking it and it's taking it somewhere else. Finally, of that similar motif, there is a tote bag and I think this takes that motif and brings it to the best place ever possible. This is a $3,000 tote bag. A functional tote bag can be worn in multiple ways. This version is a part of Lueve, My Neighbor Totoro. Um, it says that it is made of wool and I'm guessing canvas or no, this looks like it's wool and leather for your tote bag. This might be the most gorgeous piece, but it's just hilarious. <laughs> so quickly, this is the puzzle bag. This is what Lueve is most famous for. Most celebrities are seen wearing the puzzle bag. Beyonce has been seen wearing the puzzle bag. And this is the bag Lueve wants to be known for. So if you were watching this video for some reason to learn about this Lueve collection because you're interested in it, this would be the piece for your collection. Um, <laughs> subscribe. So this is the puzzle bag and this is $2,850 um, before tax. And this is in the size small. There is also an even smaller one called the mini. I don't exactly know how the puzzle bag functions as a bag. Um, I do believe it, it gets bigger. <laughs> I think there is a bigger one. And here it is styled with an additional little strap that you can buy from the collection separately, which I thought was silly. I didn't mention it earlier, but it does look pretty fresh. Looks well, pretty fresh here. Finally, I want to talk about the most expensive pieces from the collection, and this moto jacket is going to run you close to $10,000, and this is the Totoro Biker Jacket in Napa. So if you check it out here, it is a unisex design, and the front of the design, I would say, features a... Right, this features a hand-painted greenery scene, Totoro inspired on the front. You have some grass and some sprigs, a fun belt, very moto. And on the back here, you have the classic Totoros running away. They have the little acorns in their bag and they're running into the forest. We see this image a lot. I would have loved for this to be like a cell from the movie that is underrated and underexplored. However, this, the target audience for this may just be captivated and not looking for something brand new. I think we have seen this image plenty of times before, so it will be cool to get something else. However, this is a hand-painted jacket. Let's see if we can get a, a, a touch more details here. No, that looks like it's it. There is a significantly less expensive jacket. Well, it's $5,000. And this is a plain jacket that just has these soot sprites from earlier that were available as just lanyards. 
you have these as adornments on the zipper of the jacket. This jacket is a plain jacket with just these soot sprites that I assume are removable for the day you grow out of your Ghibli phase. I invite you to check out the collection yourself. Um, I wonder, we have um, like a luxury corridor in our mall in Philadelphia, so I wonder if there is a Loewe and if I'm allowed in. So that is my complete breakdown of the Loewe X My Neighbor Totoro collection starting at $380 all the way up to about $10,000. Let me know what you guys think. What will you be picking up? What was your favorite thing? I think I am most excited to see these pieces leak into the mainstream and see the adopters, the it girls, the kawaii celebrities that take this collection and turn it into their own. Honestly, I want to see who's first. Or if this will kind of just go under the radar and be something for collectors and children of socialites, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know a single rich person. I'd like to. Let me know what you think of this collection and most of all, how you feel about luxury fashion houses, adopting these beloved brands and getting licenses for things you may have not expected before. We see a lot of, you know, Coach X Mickey Mouse, but this is the first fashion house to take on a Ghibli collab. And I have to say, it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Subscribe.